you look worried. So as always, goop for breakfast. So this is 60 grams of oats, uh, 30 grams of protein powder, and 24 grams of this powdered peanut butter, and uh, also 200 grams of soy milk. Um, I've been having Vital House Athlete Shake for uh, the last few months, and this stuff is really good. Uh, it's the only protein powder that I can take that doesn't make me fart, and actually this makes me fart less, and it makes my farts uh, not stink as bad. Uh, it has a probiotic blend in it. It also has a shit ton of uh, vitamins and minerals. Uh, zinc in particular, 70% of the RDA per serving for zinc. So uh, this is especially good for men uh, if you're really active and you ejaculate a lot, because if you have like a lot of sex or masturbate like crazy, uh, you lose a lot of zinc. And um, there's a discount code in the description of all my videos if you're interested in uh, buying this stuff. Um, I wouldn't promote it if I didn't actually like this product and use it myself, so if you're interested in some good protein supplement, then uh, check out the discount code down below. Alright, so I've got a lot to do today. Um, I've got to uh, pick up some wood chips for the rabbits, uh, probably get some groceries, uh, get a part for Jasmine's computer that she's missing, and I also have to return these gloves because they're leather. And uh, these are the new ones that Alien Moto sent me. Um, you know, I made a video about it the other day. These are absolutely fucking garbage, but I guess I'll use them because you know, it's the best I've got. And um, I'm also interested in adding a new figure to my collection. Vegeta fell down here. Um, I'm gonna go to the store today, the uh, the uh, adult toy store. Well, that's not probably the best way I should have worded that. Not the adult toy store, the adult collectible figure store. <laughs> and uh, I'm probably gonna pick up a Nappa figure, because I saw him in there and it looked really good. And uh, it's right by Canada Computers, which is where I have to uh, get a part for Jasmine's computer. So this is Jasmine's new PC setup. And I have a little fin down here looking at me. Uh, we installed a Ryzen system. I got her a Threadripper 1950X, so it's their 16-core processor. I uh, got this for her because she's going to start streaming on Twitch, and she just wants to use a one PC setup, and I'm actually going to uh, start streaming on Twitch, too. I, I already made my channel, actually, and I've done a stream. Uh, but I got her a Threadripper. I'm going to use her old PC components to make my own streaming PC. And uh, right here you can see this red light. Uh, that's because we're missing the 8-pin CPU uh, connector. Uh, this board requires two to properly power the processor. It's a huge 16-core processor, so it needs a lot of juice. Uh, we didn't have a spare 8-pin connector, so I'm going to have to go to Canada Computers today to pick up the 8-pin connector, and while I'm down there, I'm gonna go to the toy store and uh, get the Nappa figure. I'm just about to leave to uh, go out to the store, and I'm trying on that, like, these new piece of shit Alien Moto gloves <laughs> that they sent me. The gauntlet is so freaking long, and uh, if you tighten it up, it, like, stops your hand from rotating, so... Like, I don't know, fuck these gloves, I'm just gonna use the old shitty pair with a fucking hole in them that they gave me. I don't think these are really any better anyway. Alright, so it's really windy out today, and it's cold, but luckily I have some heated gloves, well, heated liners. And uh, first stop is the uh, Canada Post Office. It's inside a shopper's drug mart, and it should be right around here. It's coming up soon. And we just need a spot. Sweet. Alright, there we are. I'm not gonna take off my shit. I just have to drop off some prepaid packages. So I'm gonna get a lot of stairs in that store, I'm sure. It's 
funny how all the makeup is right at the front of the store. Fucking hate makeup. <laughs> These are uh, prepaid. So I'm just, no yeah, I'll just leave it here. All right, thanks. And now we're going to be going down to uh, Canada Computers and get that uh, eight pin power connector for Jasmine's computer. And I think I'll be taking the scenic route down Queen Street and I'll go through Front Street because I just like that area. Normally I'd take the highway, but you know, if I take the highway, then uh, I can't talk and it's uh, a bit more stressful. So I'd rather just ride slow and chill. What's really funny is that for whatever reason, so many of you in the comments think this is like an, a bicycle or something. Um, this is an electric motorcycle and I've seen a few people say it only has a top speed of 50. This has a top speed of about 140 kilometers an hour. So, I don't know what the deal with that is. Ah, crap. There's a stop. Ah, <laughs> uh, what? Okay. I'm past him. So, um, I thought I'd just talk about, uh, talk about what's been going on with me lately. I made a, toast, a post on Twitter uh, talking about how I've been insanely depressed. Um, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure what really triggered it, but there's just been a series of things that have really bothered me. Uh, I had that lung infection, or that upper respiratory infection, for about three months. It was a uh, viral bronchitis, and I couldn't fucking train for three months. And uh, my training was going really well before then. Then I, you know, finally got over it. I got back to training, and training was going great. I was building a lot of muscle really quickly. And then I got uh, epididymitis or whatever the fuck it is, inflammation in my testicles. And then I couldn't fucking train for another month. And uh, I don't know, it just feels like every time I start something and I'm really motivated, just shit tears me down. Like an injury or like uh, getting sick or something. Maybe that had something to do with it. But, uh... Like, just because of this fucking depression I've been in, it's been really freaking difficult to, uh... shoot videos. It absolutely fucking kills my motivation. And, uh, when I try to just push through it, I just become so insanely fucking frustrated. Like, I... I just can't handle it, and it's... Like, that's why I haven't been putting out as many videos lately, but, um, you know, I'm trying to get over it. I'm trying to push through it. I am, uh, sort of changing up my work schedule and shit, and I'm getting back in the gym and working out, so hopefully, uh, you know, I can slowly ramp things up and just power through this depression, but, you know, this is real fucking life. I mean... There's a lot of friggin' YouTubers who just won't talk about it and they always try to be positive and put on a fake smile. Like, I can't fucking do that. Like, um, I'm friggin' miserable right now. Uh, you know, even though things are going relatively well. I mean, I have a successful YouTube channel. I have one of the best jobs in the world, but... I don't know, sometimes these things just hit you. And, like, depression is just one of those things I've struggled with my entire life ever since I was a young kid, so... Yeah, that's what's been going on. But I do like riding my bike, and uh, I like vlogging. So I'm probably just going to shoot more vlogs these days since I just enjoy doing it. And uh, you know, if you like these vlogs, leave a like and I'll just keep making them.
is this guy getting in or okay those are dogs look at this dumb bitch with her fucking fur hat hope you get run over by a bus oh god All right, is that it? Can I go now? Over here. Mm, no. Uh, actually, yes, I can. All right, I'll sneak into that spot. There's a dude on a bike. Oh, there's a dog in the car. All right, this. Ought to be good. Yeah, Alright, so it turns out uh, Canada Computers doesn't have the power connector I need, so I'm just going to have to find it at home. It's probably in the basement somewhere. And uh, so right now I'm just heading down to the uh, toy store, Anime Extreme. You're not actually allowed to film in there, so I can't film me actually going in, but I'll show you the front of the store. Here it is. So, like I said, Canada Computers doesn't have the uh, connector I need. Uh, Jasmine just gave me a text, and apparently Best Buy might have it, so I'm just gonna head down to Best Buy. There on the right, that weird building with all the glass, that's the Art Gallery of Ontario. They have some pretty good artwork on there, and uh, a lot of their exhibits, like their special exhibits, are quite good. I do recommend, and it is cheaper than the uh, Royal Ontario Museum, so... Mm -hmm. I'm sure none of you care. What is... Seriously? What's going on? Is this idiot trying to change and he's not even fucking indicating? What an asshole. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck this dipshit. Fucking asshole. Cunt. Yeah, parking's so retarded here. Um, you're not allowed to park in front of a hydrant, but they won't indicate. No, I don't have any. Fucking crazy crack addict is asking me if I have any cigarettes. All right, so I'll cut through the mall. All of you always complain that I show too much motorcycle footage, so. That's why I brought my camera today, so I can show you some walking around stuff. Some uh, religious retards in Dundas Square all the time. Oh, there's a cat. He has a blog. And now we're finally at Best Buy. For some reason, it isn't actually attached to the rest of the mall, so you have to go outside. And of course, they don't have it. All right, so that was kind of a waste of time. Uh, that store has become like really useless. Uh, it's just one of those douchebag, hipster, trendy kind of electronic stores that don't really have any specialty items, so. Oh well, uh, I'm gonna go home and look for the eight pin power connector in the uh, basement. And uh, then I guess later I'll get some groceries and shit and then uh, I'll see what else I'm gonna do. All right, so I'm at my bike. 
Um, there's a shit ton of like cop cars and paddy wagons around here because uh, the mall is right next to the courthouse, which is kind of weird. So I made it back home, and uh, this is the figure I picked up from the uh, adult collectible figure store, Anime Extreme. It's uh, the SH Figure Arts Nappa, and uh, this figure is just looks fucking awesome. Um, I was actually looking into getting the new SH Figure Arts uh, Tien and Yamcha, and I wasn't actually terribly interested in this one because it's strange. Some figures look great when you look at photos online, and then you know sometimes they look bad, but then in person they look good, or in person they look bad, and. I just wasn't digging the uh, Tien and Yamcha figures, and uh, this actually looked friggin' amazing. It, the uh, face looks like perfect, dead on like Nappa. I I love the entire sculpt. It's such a big, huge figure. So I'm gonna take it out of the box and show you guys. Here he is out of the packaging, and I just think this is an awesome looking figure. Um, he is a little weird to pose. He's a lot different than a lot of the other SH Figure Arts figures I've had just because he's so massive and the joints are so different. But, um, yeah, the sculpt looks amazing. This is just a dead-on Nappa. The uh, paint detail is also really nice. It's kind of hard to pick it up on camera, but um, they have a lot of different flesh tones in here. Um, now, there is a bit of a limit to the articulation because, again, he's such a huge figure, but um, you can get him into some pretty decent poses. And uh, he does come up, come with a lot of accessories. You can see them here, uh, different head sculpts. Um, let's see, yeah, a few different head sculpts, a few different hands. Um, but, yeah, this just looks great. Uh, really happy with this figure. Again, I was looking more at uh, Tien and Yamcha, but they just don't look so great in person, and this guy looks fucking amazing in person, so... It'll go well with my other DBZ figures. Your hair looks really funny in the wind. Kind of. Alright, so we're at the grocery store. Yes. Alright, ready? You have brush it on your like, eye thing. The Is this for the rabbits or you? I think you? they're getting a tiny box that's $5. I don't think so. They can get cheap from me and blood. I can get the Sometimes what do you even food. eat with that? Bread. Bread. I'll just get some tofu. It's weird how they don't have tofu at Costco. There you yeah. go. You and your bread. Bread is my life. Bread. Don't the ones in Belgium do it all at once? Yeah, it just goes through like wide and yeah. it pushes through like that. Look how fucked up my bread is. That's pretty yeah. fucked up. Wow, great bread machine. Might as well just cut it at home with a better knife. What the fuck is this? Is it normal? No, it there's no like way. That, that was just hollow. That's like a hollow piece of bread. It's like a huge cavity inside of it. <laughs> Let me that's fucking stupid. Look at this. All these pieces are fucking hollow. <laughs> Here's what I'm having for a very late lunch. It's uh, after 7 o'clock. I just didn't really get a chance to eat until now. But uh, this is 200 grams of lentils, a block of tofu, and I've got uh, some sriracha hot sauce sprinkled all over it. So that's like 100, 100 grams of protein right there. There's a little thin. Oh. He's so little. Why are you so excited? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, I'm gonna do a little workout today, uh, just in the, you know, apartment's gym. So uh, my knee's fucked up, I can't train the lower body, but uh, I've decided I'm just gonna do calisthenics every day. And lately I've just been doing 50 chin-ups, uh, 50 push-ups, and also like a little bit of ab and uh, neck work in between. So. I'm gonna do basically 10 sets of 5 for chin-ups, and then I'm actually gonna see if I can do 10 sets of 10 for push-ups. I'm gonna try to do 100 a day from now on.
Come here. Clap. Good job. Fan. Get out. No. Ah, ta, 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 ta. No. 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 Okay, so uh, that was 50 pull ups or chin ups and 100 push ups, and I did some uh, neck work in between. So that was good. I've been doing that every day for the last uh, couple weeks. So now, uh, gonna have dinner. My lentils are cooking in the pot over there, and if we go over here, I'm gonna have a uh, big smoothie with my lentils. I've got uh, raspberries, mango, uh, some black grapes, a lemon, uh, one date, and uh, two teaspoons of amla powder in there. So I'm going to have that probably before I have my lentils because uh, those will still take some time to cook. And here's my last meal, just 200 grams of lentils with lots of uh, sriracha hot sauce poured on. And I still have to, to uh, finish my smoothie over there. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog, and as always, keep making those vegan and Napa gains. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.